Yeah, baby! Okay, so I think you've probably read the title, right? Let's go ahead and talk about something that might make you just a little bit happier. Hey, what's up? So a couple weeks back, I recently uploaded one of my favorite videos to make every year. And that is... Shut up! And that is April Tools, which is a tradition that I made up because I was late for April Fool's, so I was just like, eh, you know what, April Tools. So ever since then, I've made it a yearly tradition that every single year, I'm gonna make a compilation of me being out of context, looking absolutely unhinged. And you know, something so simple made me realize how both important and often ignored the idea of the inner child is for most people. So what do I mean? It's that part of you, that voice in your head, those impulses and wishes that are often lofty and silly and out there. It's that essence inside of you that's overly expressive, that's overly excited and giddy and wide-eyed, that often ends up being silenced and suppressed nowadays. The thing is, I feel like all of us know that there is still that part of us in there. And I get it, that most people would like to keep that stuff in, would like to rather not come across as childish, but I think that a lot of people, maybe you included, are much more miserable and sad than they have to be. In a way, it's because a lot of us struggle with balancing that inner child of us and the part of us that obviously needs to grow up. And it's a weird thing when you think about it, right? That there's this part of us, inside of us, that's really childish and silly and immature and does not at all match the image of what a mature adult should be. And that's probably why most of you, and sometimes myself, would choose to pacify that part of ourselves. Because, you know, we're supposed to be mature and grown up and, and acting all adult-like. And because of that, you know, when we see that cool action figure or Iron Man helmet at the mall, or, you know, something at a children's museum that you find mildly intriguing even as an adult, you just tend to shrug it off. And then you feel some sort of shame for it, or remorse or guilt, because a part of you even bothered to consider finding something so childish mildly interesting and worthy of entertaining. But should you? Should we? Should we really feel ashamed? I've been around multiple different cultures and, you know, when I did encounter those cultures that encouraged repression of certain things or told you or imposed upon you that you should act a certain way, it often ends up in people feeling like they don't belong where they are, they don't belong with who they're told they're supposed to be. And there's this internal anguish and conflict because this person knows who they want to be and who they are inside, but literally everything else around them is telling them, no, you have to be this way. And I think that it works the same way here, with us being told to always act mature and grown up for the rest of our lives, and just completely ignoring anything that isn't that. And I think that anybody that comes from that lifestyle or that sort of culture that has found a way to break free would agree with me in saying that a lot of the reasons why you should act a certain way are mostly arbitrary, mostly just standards that other people have made to impose upon other people. Even as you grow up, as you age, as you mature as a person, I don't think that child ever really goes away. It just gets buried. It's like that feeling of when you were a kid and you wanted to play with somebody in your life, probably a grown-up, and they just kind of tell you to bugger off and they kind of just shrug you because they're doing grown-up stuff. It's understandable from their perspective, they're busy, they're doing something important, but to you, you feel devastated because you didn't get to play with your favorite person. You didn't get the attention that you wanted or you felt like you needed at that time. And now, where are the grown-ups? Some of us are making that child feel really, really ignorant because we feel like it's our adult responsibility to do such a thing. But I think that doing that and trying to be so mature and grown up all the time and taking life so seriously all the time, it could lead to an overly adverse resentment of anything even close to being childish. All because of the internal pressure that you feel, because there's a part of you that isn't being taken care of. And I'm making this video because I don't want you to keep running on that treadmill. I want you to be happier, and this is something that I discovered for myself that has made me happier. And we all know that person who's overly grumpy because adulthood should be serious or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you see me laughing about this because I just find it so funny and absurd that once you reach a certain age, you just have to be this cardboard cutout of a person. And that's so 
boring. And before I go on, I think I might lose some people thinking that I'm just encouraging people to be silly little kids pissing on the street and chewing on everything that they own and drooling everywhere. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say that 24-7 you should be a kid and that you should be gaming in the basement for the rest of your life eating Doritos and drinking Mountain Dew. There's a balance to be struck with actually being able to grow up, being able to be mature, being able to do the adult things, whilst still being able to joyously partake in kiddish stuff. All right, so how do you get your inner child back? By doing little nudges, just entertaining the slightest thought of doing something childish in the simplest way. If you were at the mall and you just walked past a Lego set, that you like and be like, hey, that's cool. Oh, but I shouldn't buy that because people are gonna make fun of me because I like kids stuff. Maybe buy yourself a set. If not anything, just something small or even just a minifigure. That's a little nudge. Okay, what about something simpler? What about just trying to make yourself laugh in your lonesome. Trying to do some like random silly weird noises, talking to yourself in a silly voice, or making silly faces in the mirror, or just doing random dances whenever you feel like it. And I know I'm probably giving images of <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. I know that a lot of this sounds nuts, but I hope you get what I mean. There are those little nuggets of happiness and silliness in your life that just give it an extra flavor and that give you a little positive boost. At least that's how I'd like to think it. And all these things Things are things that you can do in your lonesome. Nobody has to be involved, nobody has to see this part of you, but you do. And that's what matters, is that your inner child is being fed, it's being entertained, you're hopefully all the happier for it. And then once you get comfortable in the fact that you can just be childish sometimes, then start expanding, expanding that silliness to some of your best friends. And being like, hey, this is a part of me that I don't really get to show often. I wonder if you'll enjoy seeing it. Some people won't, some people will look at you weird, but the right people, the best people, will appreciate being able to see a whole new, sillier and brighter side of you. At least that's what I've gotten from my experience of just out of nowhere shouting loud and silly things and doing random dances and moving in such an exaggerated manner just for the kick of it, just because I find it funny. I'm just doing it in front of my friends and seeing how thrown off they are, but also how amused and delighted they are to see that inside of this exterior is still somebody as base as to shout Podchamp or Megalol dangling his head out of the sunroof of a car, or somebody who doesn't even need neither the encouragement of alcohol or caffeine to do something as silly as doing Fortnite dances ironically in public. It's stuff like that, very silly stuff like that, that I just open up to some of my friends and be like, hey, what do you think? You, this Is this something you vibe with? If it is, then I'm gonna keep doing it in front of you. If it isn't, then I'm I'm still gonna keep doing it in front of you, deal with it. And that's kind of the way that I've done it. I will not hide my enthusiasm for like, hey, that's so, that's like cool, that's sick, yeah. And I think being comfortable with that kind of stuff just makes me that much happier. And then that's basically the last step is that once you get more and more comfortable with it, just keep expanding and expanding. And I don't think that you should feel ashamed for doing those things, but you can do that on your own. I don't know, you might enjoy something like that, but you might think that you're not supposed to. And I think it's okay that you do. And as long as you're surrounded by people that make you feel safe and you're in an environment that feels safe and you're at an appropriate time, don't do this, don't do any of this at a funeral, don't do any of this in the middle of people giving their wedding vows, please do not be a jackass, please do not be an idiot. Thank you, but if you feel like it's appropriate and you feel safe, why the hell not? But that's not to say that being mature isn't important to me. That's not to say that introspection and self-reflection and taking care of your actual relationships in a serious, mature way, all of those things are important and I don't want it to be mistaken that I'm telling you to ignore all those things just so you can run free as a kid. Nor is it my point to encourage people to literally just mentally level with actual children, okay? Not encouraging any of that creepy weird stuff. You know what I mean. You don't have to force it. If this doesn't sound like you at all, if you haven't related to anything that I've said at all, maybe it just isn't you. What I am just encouraging is for people to lighten up. My hope here is to help you be happier because I think that out of all the things that I've made in order to change my life for the better, this active daily thing that I do has made me all the more happier. And I hope that you can find that too. You will risk looking insane 
Absolutely. As I'm recording this, I feel like somebody is gonna think this guy is just out of it. And that's the risk. And I think that fear of rejection, that fear of being judged, is completely valid. But it's worth stepping over just to see if you can find something better on the other side. It's given me a lot of happiness and I can only hope that you'll find that for yourself too. Because I think that everybody can benefit from entertaining, allowing themselves little nuggets of childlike glee. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for me for now. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I am at Sentient Poison and at Nicholas Lawlin. Leave a like, subscribe. Once again, my name is Nicholas and embrace your inner child. All right, cheers. <laughs>